Thanks for having me at Victor Valley College. When you're on the Victor Valley College website, you can click the Admissions tab to see everything that's being offered. This destruction idea turned into a year-long project I called Goodbye Art, where each and every piece of art was destroyed after its creation. By limiting my theme to destruction, I let go of the tangible outcome and saw new possibilities where art didn't have to be tangible or serious or permanent. In the beginning, I focused on forced destruction, like this image of Jimi Hendrix made with over 7,000 matches. It burned in one minute. And then I opened it up to new things where art was destroyed by itself. I looked for temporary materials like Oreo filling, spitting out food, <laughs> cheese whiz, or frozen wine. The last iteration of destruction was to produce something that never actually existed in the first place. So I laid candles out on a table, and I lit them, and I blew them out, and I repeated this process over and over with the same set of candles. Then I took the videos and assembled them into the larger image. So the end image never actually existed as a physical whole. It was destroyed before it ever existed. The destruction riff opened up a whole new phase of creativity for me. Now when I run into a barrier or I find myself creatively stumped, I move from frustration to anticipation really quickly because I know something amazing might come of it. We live in pretty unpredictable times, and our ability to create is the most powerful tool we have to attain security. Limitations may be the most unlikely of places to harness creativity, but perhaps one of the best ways to get ourselves out of ruts, rethink categories, and challenge accepted norms. And instead of telling each other to seize the day, maybe we need to remind ourselves every day to seize the limitation. Thank you. <laughs>